Hi guys! Welcome to a new unboxing video. I hope you are liking my ghetto setup here. Um, so yeah, this is the first time I'm doing this one with a collectible other than the alien print I did before. So yeah, this is another format I'm trying, so <laughs> I hope I'm not disappointing you guys, but hey, it's something new entirely. So let's first begin with what we have here, which is the alien um, well, sort of statue, I guess, um, and collectible from uh, Katabuyika. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's let's see what's on the box first. So yeah, here you can see the manufacturer, which is, as I said, Katabukiya. Oh, okay, so it's Katabukiya. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so it's the alien xenomorph, uh, big chap. Um, artifacts statue, a one tenth scale, the pre painted model kit. So, um, yes, this is kind of a kit, um, but it's not that difficult to set up, set up um, other than the floor and wall parts that come with it. I heard stories that they aren't that good, so yeah, we need to take a look and figure that one out. Uh, as you can see, um, it's still wrapped in the plastic wrap it came with. Uh, I bought it from eBay on a, on an auction, and I won the auction, obviously. I paid, I believe it was 75 euros for it. So it's not that bad of a deal for this one, even though most uh, reviewers out there um, consider this one as, uh, well, um, not as cheap and pretty much a rather expensive, uh, well, I don't know what the other manufacturer is called, I think it's a, a Kenner, uh, alien ma maquette statues, um, or collectible, um, but yeah, I'm a big alien fan, I don't mind um, spending some amount of money on uh, collectibles I want neat and love and uh, as far as i could tell from other reviews this one is pretty cool so um taking a tour around the box now as you can see here you see the floor panels and the uh, walls it comes with like um every panel you can see here i believe there's six of them included there could be more i'm not sure but you can pretty much um set up the walls with them so all these panels make up for the floor, the walls, and uh, well, the roof actually. And this one should come with um, uh, a, a little light and a little LED that flickers. So that ought to be cool. Um, some more art box there, which is pretty dope. Pretty cool. I don't use dope that often though, but uh, what the hell. So yeah, let's uh, let's tear it apart and, and open it up and see what uh, what's inside. So I already got the plastic out of the way, and as you can see, the box art looks awesome. Um, yeah, the big chap in all its horror glory. Clear view of the side and a clear view of the back. So it only has one standard pose, which is this one. Um, but yeah, it's really pretty terrifying, nonetheless. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about this one. So yeah, it was it was a good deal. Like uh, other sell sellers um, sell it for like 80 and above. I mainly see them going around ninety dollars and up, so yeah, I'm pretty happy. But less talking and more unboxing, so let's open this bad boy up and see what we have here. Uh, 
Okay, we have it out of its box. As you can see, um, the statue comes in what looks like a plastic container made out of two parts, which separates and lets the pieces come out, of course. Um, the alien itself is made up in several pieces. Uh, first of all, we have the lower body with the feet and the legs and, well, the tail attached. Uh, this is one piece. Then we have another piece which is uh, the upper body with the head assembled. These are not separate pieces and I heard some good things about that since um, one of the other alien uh, statues from Kato Bukia came with a separate head uh, which fell off sometimes or was pretty loose so this is a good thing. Uh, it also comes of course with its two arms and which uh, what what looks like the LED emitter so um, to give that horror effect to the stand so yeah um, in this little box here there should be the accessories like um, well the tiles that make up the floor the walls and uh, even the ceiling so let's get this one out of the box um, and let's see what's it all about all right, so I got all these pieces out of the box to give you guys a closer look at what we can find inside and how to set these things up. Um, so yeah, let's dive into it and see what it does. All right, and here we are having guys, our beloved Xenomorph. It looks fantastic on camera. Um, even on my camera which isn't like a high-end camera or whatnot it, it's I'm filming this with a phone so bear bear with me here but uh, yeah it looks awesome it really does even for plastic it's it's highly detailed so I will try to focus for you guys look at that just look at that it looks better in person um, it looks far better in person but it really looks highly detailed um, I'm not sure if you can tell but uh, there are some little color differences in the body which are um, painted and uh, like you can even see part of the skull inside of the alien dome which is pretty neat. Uh, <laughs> I have some trouble with focusing, but bear with me here. Look at that. Like even the teeth. It's it's not bad. It's really not bad, especially for the price I paid. Um, so yeah, it's if you're a big Alien fan and you can get this one, um, like for less than 100 bucks, I highly recommend it. I'm a big fan. It's it's not really that small either. Um, it, it's not really big either, though. Um, but it's 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 good enough. It's good enough. It really looks terrifying. Yeah, it's very cool. Um, so I will give you a little tour of what uh, it comes with. Um, it comes with these, well, a couple of these um, 90 degrees, I don't know what they call them, um, well, pieces uh, which hold together these plates, and there are a couple of those. I believe there are six of them, um, so they cover up the floors and such. Uh, it also comes with two by one of those um, pieces to hold these things together and two of these pieces which look like um, well I don't know they're, they're not magnetic well at least I don't think they are but they should keep the alien in place on the tiles um, and it also comes with these uh, other curved ones okay so there are two bags of those Maybe those are a little different, I don't know. I need to look into those. So, yeah. Um, let's, let's set it up and see what it looks like. 
All right, guys, here we have it, the Xenomorph, the big chap, in its full glory, fully assembled. S assembly wasn't too bad. Um, there's a few things that could be done better um, here and there, but overall it's pretty good. It's pretty solid, so as you can see, this is what the back looks like. You have a couple of options according to the manual um, to set this one up, but I like it in this way. Might change it over the course of its setup. Oh, this one is not straight. I'll straighten that up in a bit, don't need to worry. But uh, yeah, it looks fairly cool. It looks really cool. Just look at him. That's very cool. So from different angles then. Highly recommended. If you're an alien collector, very, very cool. Can't like say this enough. Um, for the money I paid, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, it's a nice piece to my collection. It's actually the first alien piece I ever owned. Um, I know I have like an alien print, but never really a collectible or a statue of consort. So this is my first one, and I'm pretty excited, proud, and happy with it. So. Yeah, if if you any if you if you guys find any of these online for a good price and you're a fan, highly recommended. Cannot say this enough. Really, really cool. I will show you how it looks like with lights off and a LED emitter for that scary look in just a minute. Now, doesn't that look cool? It really does. Just imagine the suspense music, the horror claustrophobic feeling with this guy coming after you. Really, really, really cool. So this is the LED emitter. It's quite brighter in, um, in, in like real life, I guess. Um, maybe it's not that bright on camera it's really cool by real life I mean in person <laughs> oh man this piece is awesome this is awesome nice Well guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope you liked the unboxing of the Xenomorph Big Chap from Kotobayika. It's a highly detailed PVC statue. It's very nice. It's a very nice addition to the Alien Collection of anyone. It certainly is a nice addition to mine. I'm very happy with it, like I previously said. And if any of you can um, get this one at a very good price, just jump on it and get it because it's it's very cool um, even with the LED emitter it gives that extra horror effect really nice really cool I can tell this enough highly recommend it um, so yeah um, <laughs> also really sorry if like the camera shakes a bit I do not have a tripod or some sorts so bear with me on this one with my ghetto setup to film but uh, I guess we will get better in the future but for now I hope I made you a good video to look at and a good statue to look at so yeah guys have a good one and see you on the next hunt <laughs>